soft like flower do. Sure, I know that your son has a story. Hi, I'm Effie Barker. We are right here in downtown. When you say we're not going away with these issues, what are those issues? Good evening. Welcome to the special edition of I'm Effie Barker. Because you've already been smart to, you know, to analyze and see these things. It's not just like sitting there, but tinitingnan mo yung mga kailangan to be the host. Kailangan, kailangan. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people say, all you have to do in hosting is I teach now. I wrote mm -hmm. the hosting syllabus of ABS-CBN and I teach public speaking formally, ac academically. So I started to realize that it's not enough just to talk. Hindi po. Uh, you need a lot more. Mm -hmm. And when they say you have to be natural, you have to be authentic, you have to be your real self. What is real in front of a camera? It's a performance. So yeah. what is authentic? in front of an audience when I have to project, I have to make you understand, mm -hmm. I I have to make you like me and Effie, yeah. I, I, I have to, I'm not role playing, I am myself, but it's a different level of self mm -hmm. because it is a performed self. It is. it is. But it is called from something that is real. Right. Okay? Yeah. I will not pretend to be who I am not. I will not pretend to be another person but I acknowledge and I embrace the fact that this is partly a performance. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Using the truth and using using your truth mm -hmm. to tell stories, to relate to people, to talk to nanay, to tatay, to kapuso. I think what would be a great um, skill there, you mentioned earlier that you were a salesperson. Yes. You could sell the story. Right. Sell... I, I could sell stories and... I also was used to being turned down. So th th that's part of the training. It's not a, it's not, you know, a, a joyful journey to heaven. Okay. Uh, ang daming mahirap na pinagdadaanan po. So katulad ng pagbebenta, may mga nginingitian ka, may mga itinataboy ka, mm. uh, merong welcoming, merong kind, but... Uh, Hindi rin bibili. Yeah. You get used to it. <laughs> right. And... When people say, what was your best interview? I always say the next one. Right. Yeah, I look forward to the next one because every time I preview an interview, meron at meron akong nakikita na, why didn't I ask this question? Why didn't I make the follow-up? Why was I so uh, loquacious? Why was I so verbose? Laging, laging may mali. So the joy of this job is that you look forward to the next one yes. and you do better. Could you talk to us your uh, interview technique and that skill and uh, does it did it evolve? How did it evolve? In the beginning, I used to cut my guests because I wanted to impress people that I could talk, that I could ask the right questions. That's mm. part of the territory, mm. you know. That comes uh, that comes uh, about because of your insecurity. You know, when I was starting on television. I was told by a friend, and this is a, this is a story that I would often tell. Mm -hmm. My friend, who loves me to this very day, mm -hmm. was very concerned when I decided to go on cam. Mm -hmm. Because I was doing very well as, as a brand uh, specialist, as a marketing man, as a publicist. I was doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, you're going to be president of your marketing firm. You're going to be an advertising uh, guru. Why are you trying... Uh, on this job in front of the camera. And I was wondering why my friend was overly concerned about my being on cam. And after much prodding, he said, you wouldn't make it. He's one of the best guys in the industry. He's one of the most respected guys in the industry. Mm. And he was very straightforward with me. And as far as he was concerned, it's going to be tough. You're not beautiful enough which was a euphemism for hindi ka maganda, ka. Yeah. Only a good friend and only someone who loves you. Sometimes mm -hmm. people who discourage you are people who are coming from a space of love. Mm -hmm. I was not beautiful enough. You have a waray accent. Pag nag english ka, tunog waray ka pa rin. And that may work against you. And when you speak Tagalog, may punto ka. Yung E nagiging E, yung O nagiging U. <laughs> and, you know, when you're Bisaya, when you're waray, you become self-conscious about it until... I learned much later that the only way 
to do it is to embrace who you are. E ano kung matapilok ang hila ko? Di sasabihin ko uli. Pag salimbawa na sabi ko matapilok, e di sasabihin ko matapilok, but it comes with maturity. It comes with a certain attitude. It comes with a certain confidence. And then I was also told I wouldn't make it because I was gay. Oh, wow. Sabi ko, what hey. has my gay got to do? But, you know, th th that's what it was then. I mean, I'm talking about right, what? Right. Over 30 years ago when I was starting a television career. So I, I knew where I was. I, I knew my weaknesses. I, I, I knew uh, expectations of people. And this is really funny because I'm telling now a lot of my students mm -hmm. that the only way, if you, you want to be a host, do it. Just do it until you discover if you really like it. Katulad din ba, a couple of months ago, I started to write songs oh, okay. for the LGBT community. I produced and wrote the first LGBT-themed album of the Philippines, which was released last June, the Pride Month. How did I write the songs? I was asked in a press conference in this very restaurant. Mm. Sabi ko, I just wrote the songs. Pagkulang ang syllables, dinadagdagan. Pag sinasabi ng musician, kulang ng dagdagan ng dalawang lines, I would add two lines. I mean, that's the way you do it. Yeah. You know, just do it. It's just like write it. Baptism by fire. Yeah. Get burned. Yeah. Survive if you can. Yeah. You know, just don't die. <laughs> right. Well, this talent of yours, I've, I've um, watched a lot, a lot, a lot of Boy mm. shows. And I've recently watched also and the Eigenmans. Yes. Really, really. Lovely, cool. lovely lady. Lovely girl. Lovely interview. I'm Thank not you. saying that because I've never interviewed Thank you. Really Thank great. you very much. I was talking to Philip about that also. Like, wow. What I've noticed is that you have, you have your, your, your goal. I saw you were looking and crashing like a bit with the questions that you have done already. And, but you are, you let her talk and then you were not be, being, you have driven away from it and you still come mm. back. You, your focus is in it. And Thank you. Yeah. Your style of interview, why do you think it worked? That it's it's good and it worked. Effie, and, I'll, I'll answer. I might forget. I'm very adventurous. Sobrang matapang ako pagdating sa interviews. The very first special I did before Andy Eigenman was Luis Manzano. Mm, yes. With Vilma Santos. What I did in that interview, I showed to my audience that I had a blank uh, sheet of paper. I said, I'm going to start my conversation with this blank paper, piece of paper, and I'm just going to listen, and I'm going to take it from there. I will go to where Luis would lead me to. Mm. So I just listened, and I, structure, I structured my interview based on oh. how are you doing, uh, are you happy? And then, you know, it starts to roll. With Andy Eigenman, I had a couple of notes because it has nothing to do with Jane, uh, oh. Jacqueline, who said the mother, and the relationship and other notes. But what you discover is when you are in a conversation, it's like a dance. Yes. You know, and, and the moment. I know it's the dance yeah, during the interview. It's, it's a kind of dance. Uh, you, you 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 would feel that she wants to go left. Yes. So you go left. And there's something interesting somewhere in the middle and you go there and she dances with you. And then sometimes she allows herself to be led towards the right and you go there. So the notes that you wrote are basically research materials. Mm -hmm. Do not be obsessed with what you plan to do right. because what becomes the conversation is what is captured by the moment, by the now. It helps that I know the girl, I've done most, if not all of mm -hmm. her most important mm -hmm. interviews. I've done interviews with her mother. But I, I, love, I, love, the, I love the punches. I love riding the tide. I love going over the cliff, jumping into the unknown. I, I enjoy that to this very moment. I just finished my interview with Alden Richards and one of the biggest stars in this country. So you have handlers who would say, uh, my writers would come to me and say, uh, these are the mandatories and these are uh, questions that are not supposed to be touched. Mm. 
I'm not bothered by that. I will listen. Okay. If I am allowed by an interview to go into the sacred spaces, I'll mm-hmm. jump into them. Yeah. But I'll make sure that I was led into them by my guest. Right.